Let's snap is two to seven here. Um, welcome to the twelfth tutorial in the series. And in this tutorial, we're just gonna continue our little model to map program. So to display what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna use what I always do. We'll see. They'll watch my videos now. I like using paint to show what I like to do because I'm a visual learner and I like to see how things are going to look or what we're going to do before um, we do it so I have an idea. And so, um, yeah, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to just load our dot object um, loader from our engine, but for those of you who are wondering how are we going to make this actual um, map format, um, you know, how's it going to look, how am I going to read it, etc. For now I'm going to create, make an easy text um, or ASCII um, map format, which basically will contain all the coordinates much, it's going to look a lot like the object file, so it's going to contain the coordinate, coordinates, um, and then maybe we'll have something called um, position and then the position of each mesh something like that or or if we want one giant mesh actually no that won't work um, but yeah so I think we're just gonna have that and then have another list for the indices so the faces work that out so the way I'm going to work this out is, obviously, I'm not going to save this actually, obviously we're going to need to store all the vertices somewhere, so we're just going to have this big sack called vertices, so it's going to have all our vertices obviously, and then what's going to happen is make another one called dot object so our object and then another sack call it or another sack right here under both those called indices <coughs> sorry and finally one called I don't know we'll call this dot LVL for dot level. What on what we'll name our map format. So basically, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be sort of like a cycle. So our we're gonna input the dot object, and it's gonna take all the vertices from the dot object file and transfer all the vertices to um, the the vertices from here to uh, our, uh, an array or a list we're gonna have basically. Um, we're going to have a vector called vertices and it's going to contain all the vertices so this will dot object will create it into one or take the vertices from the object sorry to the vertices list we have in our program and then we're going to take the faces or the indices from our dot object file and put them in our indices list we're going to have also a vector <coughs> and after we have that we're going to combine these two and transfer the coordinates, convert them and transfer them so they can be stored in a dot level format. <coughs> now sorry. This looks hard, but basically this is how it's going to work. We're going to let's say we have a file with twenty four vertices. So we're gonna put twenty four vertices in. I don't know what the combination is, so it's going to be 24 vertices, it could be like 1.10, 1 you know what vertices are. Um, so there's going to be 24 of them here, and then there's obviously going to be I believe, 36, 36 indices. When we triangulate them, um, there's going to be 36 indices, I'm pretty sure. And let's say <coughs> we created, um, I don't know, one with twelve vertices. So another so this is using multiple files, another um 
sorry, I missed a part. So now we have, we know how many vertices we have, we know how many indices we have. So vertices is easy because it's going to extract all the vertices. So all we're going to have to do is put that aside in one vector. So we're going to have 24 vertices in one, 36 indices in the other. So it's going to go, you know how indices go 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. It's going to go like that. And then say we want to add another one, so 12. And we're going to say, if it's 12, then it has to be half 36, 18. So we have 18 more. But if you've ever looked at a dot object file, and we're going to try and find a mini example. If you've ever looked at a dot object file, if notepad++ plus plus would open. Oh, open on the other desktop. So you see that it has eight vertices right here. And then <coughs> ignore that, but basically these are the indices. So one, two, three, and it goes one, two, three. So it starts at one. So if, if we have this and this, this is going to interfere because it's going to go one all the way to 36 and then one all the way to 18. And that's really going to mess up. Um, if you just picture that, if we have multiple um, indices for these vertices, it's going to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate each um, thing so they have, or each, um, yeah, each uh, model, so it has its own uh, vector for vertices and indices. And it's just going to be like a sub vector. So this vector is going to correspond to this one. This one's going to correspond to this one, etc so that when it goes, when we have uh, our vector of 24 vertices, we call the 1 to 36 indices, and it corresponds with this, and then when we have our 12 uh, vertice model, it's going to call the 1 to 18. Um, it's going to call the, or write the 1 to 18 um, indices value, so they don't interfere with each other. There'll be separate meshes. So yeah, that's basically how or the logistics of it, and then obviously this is going to get written here. Yep. So <coughs> we're going to, I'm just going to um, find my just going to go here into my engine and quickly if you follow my other videos, you should have the object loader. If not, watch that video and get it. So you're going to take that. You're going to take the two L underscore object loader files. Let me just make sure this correct one. Yep. And add them to our project. So add existing item. I'm just going to add these two. And then move .cpp to source files. That's fine. I'm just going to comment out all this because we're not going to need this. <coughs> Anyways, thought I could work around this. So, um, yeah, just going to, instead of, I'm just going to include glue.h. They should get rid of all the errors. There we go. So now what we're going to do is I want to count just to make sure I'm going to count yeah, actually first I'm going to do int vertex int indices what we're going to do is we're going to set them to zero and going to count all the values. The zero. So we're going to count object dot vertices. And what was it? Vertex? Yeah, that was nice. So it's going to count our count that element 
and then we're just going to do <coughs> so this is going to be 0 and we want to put one in each line since there's three of them going we need to see that each value is being counted so we're going to do this is going to be 0 then this is going to be 1 so we're going to do um, what was it? vertex equals vertex plus 1 and do it again Wait. so sorry so it's going to count this, so it's going to be 0, it's going to count element 0 it's going to be 1, count element 1 it's going to be 2, count element 2 so it's going to make sure this works first um, just going to take a model, I know it works So I'm gonna copy this down uh, this over here. And so now we're just gonna include the object loader. <coughs> so this is just to confirm that all um of the all of the vertices are right, so I just want to count each one to make sure they're right. Um, and we're going to do L object underscore loader object equals null. So if it is an object, object load try object. What was it? 3D cube dot cube dot object. Cube dot object, okay. I'll load it. <coughs> nope, okay. That no, doesn't like my scan F as. So Visual Service 2012 won't let scan F work because it's like I fucking hate scan F. So I just want to let this compile. Hopefully everything works. And let's see, 3D cube dot object. Oh, I got this wrong. Okay. Okay. So over here, I realize I put the exact name, but we're supposed to put um, file name. See underscore str. The fuck? Okay. Let me see. Should be working around. Okay, let me just try this. Files. I'm gonna put files. Make a constant char files equals file name. Will that work? Try. STR. Oh, remember I had this problem somewhere. What did I put? I'm trying to think I had this somewhere I'm trying to remember where. Finally, what the fudge? Okay, um so I can just quickly pause it and figure out what sorry before I pause it, I just want to fix something too. We can see the values properly, that's because we put endl. We put endl so it skips after every value. 
And now I'm gonna pause it and try. Okay, so I did not find a workaround, but I sort of did find a workaround. All we have to do is change this to string find. Excuse me. And that should work properly. I'll hold okay. are going to be anal about it. And now whatever file I input it should work, so... Yep. Just going to do the same thing for indices. Actually, no, we know that. Um, yep, so that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to get more in depth with the storing. All the storing. Right now, we'll, all we have is this and this. So, yep.